Thank you for joining us. Today we're going to discuss six of the most deadly predators on Earth. While it may seem gruesome to some, the fact is, we actually need our predators to keep our planet verdant and healthy and to maintain biodiversity. The polar bear, the largest land carnivore on Earth. The eagle, one of the stealthiest predators on the planet. Believe it or not, these and others are actually needed for the survival of our planet. Let's explore just a few. Please like, share, and subscribe. First up is the Great White Shark, one of the ruling predators of the seas. This creature is a marvel of evolution. This creature's ability to maintain a speed of 25 miles per hour is amazing. And if you compare this to a human's average of 5 miles per hour, there is no escape. There's no way we can outswim this creature. The Great White Shark constantly replaces its teeth throughout its lifetime. The Great White Shark has excellent smell. Its ability to detect one drop of blood for over three miles is amazing. But what really sets it apart is its ampullae of Lorenzini, which are special organs that it has that detect electrical impulses from all living organisms. And despite the Great White Shark's horrible reputation, it's actually a careful hunter, carefully assessing its prey before ambushing it. This type of power and precision makes the Great White Shark one of the great predators of the ocean. Next up is the Harpy Eagle, one of the silent killers of the sky. They learn their skills at an early age because their parents teach them as babies how to swoop down and kill their prey. And their accuracy is amazing. With the talons that can exert 500 pounds of pressure, if you compare that to a human's of 20 to 30 pounds of PSI, then you can see the remarkable strength of these creatures. These creatures can crush a human skull easily. So imagine what it can do to smaller prey, and in some cases, larger prey. This raptor is not only dangerous, it's very resourceful, often stashing food to save it for later during hard times. That's why the Harpy Eagle is ranked as one of the most dangerous birds on Earth. The next predator needs no introduction, the saltwater crocodile. The saltwater crocodile is one of the most feared animals on the planet. These living dinosaurs have been virtually unchanged for over millions of years. These dinosaurs have a bite force between 3,700 and 7,000 pounds per square inch. All crocodilians are stealthy hunters, being able to submerge for up to several hours at a time waiting on their prey, patiently waiting until the right time to attack. Once grabbed by this animal, it is virtually impossible to get away making the saltwater crocodile, in my opinion, one of the most deadly creatures on Earth. Next up is the tiger. Dwarfing the lion by a few hundred pounds in most cases, the tiger is one of the most formidable predators in the jungle. They're solitary animals, raising their babies and then living alone as they hunt and live. Unlike other big cats, which really don't like water, the water is a tiger's hunting ground. While the Amur and Siberian tiger are physically the largest, the Bengal tiger has been recorded of having a PSI, or pounds per square inch, of 1,050 pounds. That's a far cry from a human's 160 pounds per square inch. This earns the tiger a place on this list of the most deadliest. The next predator has a bite force estimated at 19,000 pounds per square inch. Not even the great white shark messes with these animals, and they're called the killer whales, aka an orca. Most people don't know that these animals aren't actually whales, they're actually the largest member of the dolphin family, and boy are they smart and intelligent. Orcas are the top of the apex predator list with a diverse diet, including a variety of fish, sharks, rays, and marine mammals such as seals and other dolphins and whales. These and other predators play a vital role in our planet's survival. 
and its ecosystem. So, to answer the question, can we live without our predators? The short answer is no. Predators are not merely villains in the natural world. They are essential components of a healthy, functioning ecosystem. Their absence would ripple through the entire food web, triggering a cascade of negative consequences that would profoundly impact our own lives and the stability of our planet. Most of these majestic creatures have been on this planet much longer than us. Man has to find a way to settle his own differences. But in the end, we have to ensure their survival if our own survival is to continue. Please like, share, and subscribe to Where in the World is Frank and Gina? Simply type in Frank and Gina to subscribe to our YouTube channel. God bless.